Today on The Daily Dose, the Harlem Hellfighters. Considered the most celebrated African-American fighting regiment during World War I, the Harlem Hellfighters faced down racism at home before facing off with Germany longer than any other fighting unit in the war to end all wars. They came from Harlem mostly, as well as Brooklyn and towns up the Hudson River. Some were underage teenagers, while others were in their mid-40s. Many were proficient jazz musicians, including band leader James Reese Europe. And when the force of 2,000 men landed at Brest, France, on New Year's Day 1918, they stunned their unsuspecting audience with their syncopated rhythm so unheard of before their arrival, drawing salutes from every French soldier and sailor present that day. Originally assigned to service in janitorial roles, General John Pershing changed all that on April 15th when he reassigned the 369th Harlem Hellfighters to combat duty, more than a month before the American Expeditionary Force's first major battle. For the next three months, as the Germans' primary spring offensive raged miles away from their frontline position, the Harlem Hellfighters fought through repeated skirmishes until they came under heavy artillery fire when the Germans launched the July 15th Second Battle of the Marne, which would become Germany's final offensive battle in the war. The Hellfighters pushed forward with a French counterattack, suffering 14 deaths and 51 injuries. Then came the Moose Argonne Offensive, in which 1.2 million French and American soldiers bore down on Germany's failing frontline positions. Over the course of the month and a half long offensive, the Hellfighters would suffer 144 deaths and almost 1,000 wounded. What have I done this afternoon? wrote Hellfighter Captain Arthur Little in his memoir From Harlem to the Rhine. Lost half my battalion, driven hundreds of innocent men to their death. The Harlem Hellfighters spent 191 days on the Western Front, making them the longest serving American regiment to fight at the front lines of World War I. Upon their stand down and return to the States, on February 17, 1919, crowds lined Fifth Avenue in New York City, honoring the Hellfighters with a much deserved victory parade. The Hellfighters marched in French formation, 16 abreast, making their sacrifice and bravery in battle a strident rebuke to racism, even to this day. And there you have it, the Harlem Hellfighters of World War I, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.